Okay, guys. Got a brand spanking new game we're adding to our repertoire. We're going to be making some videos on it. Uh, but what I'm going to do on this video, I'm going to take you all the way through the tutorial process of the game. Okay. I'm going to try to do it all in one video and then break it down into two videos. But we're going to run all the way through the tutorial of the game. So I did. I've already started some of it. Uh, I've got through the monotonous, boring. Hey, this is this, this is that. So you you can get through that, but. This is starting at the very first of it before the, we're fixing to get the very first project, uh, project okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started. This device is the main control unit of your hangar. Use it, uh, use it to operate the gantry crane and play video games if you have any. The MCU's OS is a Martian distribution of Linux. Tip, pseudo doesn't work on Mars. So... Space bar to continue. Let's get started. Ah, oh, come on now. Remember, guys, this is a brand new game, so. Okay, well, I'm sorry. We've got to accept our, our, our uh, project first. Welcome to the uh, uh, the order selector view. Uh, here you can order uh, our colony. Here you can find all orders our colony receives. The orders come from various companies, which means your reward. And objectives might differ depending on the company you choose to provide your services to. As usual, as uh, as usually in the world of engineering, as usually, uh, guys, that needs that's as usual in the world, as usual, comma in the world of engineering, comma, some orders are complex, and there are ones that are even more complex. Minimum rank requirement sorts the complexity levels of orders according accordingly. Well, that's kind of iffy too. According to your experience, thanks, uh, thanks to, thanks to that you never. Okay, I don't get that. Thanks to you never start an order that you can't complete. Whatever that means. All right. Uh, once you have selected a task, all the important information you need is displayed on the right side of the screen. Each order has a small note that informs you what the problem might be. But keep in mind, let's see, that, uh, get my bottle here. It keeps in mind that this is just loose insight from the ordering company. <clears throat> in, ad in addition, there is also information on how many resources you can get completed. Uh, you get for completing the order you selected. Uh, our engineer, our engineers always do preliminary analysis of the order, so sometimes they might leave a clue of what needs to be replaced. All right, we'll get this order. So we need to replace the wheel. Accept that. Okay, this tab is a central point of the game. Here you can find all information about your tasks. The reward box contains information about resources and experiences which you can get from completing a task. The summary box contains, contains information about how much money you have spent, except uh, for the tutorial missions. Uh, you can finish orders without repairing the rovers. The only rule is that they cannot be lacking any parts. However, we do not recommend this method as it might, back, back, as it might backfire and you'll have to uh, bear the consequences. Let's talk about the tabs on the right. Guys, y'all uh, run through all these. Uh, I'm trying to get to the part of the video where we can actually get some work done. Run through all these yourselves. I'll save some time. Uh, and you guys can... Uh, you guys can read that on your own.
Okay, guys, let's get started. I'm going to help you out here. I know it's that right there, I believe. Like I say, guys, y'all can read those on your own. Yep, that's it. I'm going to sit and wait for this wheel to be made. She's made. Let's go pick her up. Oh, can't use crutcher yet, evidently. Well, there you have it, guys. Okay, once you get all that done, you get that bar put on. You're going to walk over here, and we're going to reconfigure it. All righty. Remember how this went, so let's go backwards, just like that. Alrighty. Ah, come on. Alright, our target voltage is 8. Okay, so we're going to have to make all these numbers equal to 8 somehow. So, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Two, five, two, that's, that's 11. 
five and eight and nine, see if that's nine, that's 11. We need a minus four. So we need a plus one on our positive side. Put a four here. Put a two here. Need to up one. All those are one. how you do it guys and actually it's, through the tutorial phase it's just the hardest one the very first one was the hardest one so let's get going you're really glad once you get through this tutorial phase guys so let's go over here and let's get, see if we can get rid of this damn wheel now nope not gonna let us not available yet Order complete. Okay, I'm going to get our next order here. Uh, the wheel you replaced the last time works just fine, but the Sojourner seems to have more problems than we previously assumed. Before you solve the wheel issue, before you solved the wheel issue, the bearing must have sustained damage, which causes it to deteriorate much uh, quicker. Since you already have experience with the Sojourner, would you please take a look at it once again? This time, it's uh, extra pay, paid extra. Ah. Uh, we got to pick it up off the thing again, don't we? That gummit. Alrighty. So uh, the bearing on the thing needs to be replaced. Come on, guys. Each time we're hitting three going back to diagnosis and there's the bad bearing. So we'll hit one again and we'll pull that bearing off. All right. 
circle back around. Let's make sure the rest of it's good. That one's good. Okay. So good. Let's go get a baron. And what we can do, we'll open up our, we'll go to warehouse and uh, the bearing. There's the bearing right there. I don't remember which one of these was bad. Was it the bearing or the cover B that was bad? Let's go down a little bit. Let's see. Well, I guess the fucker ain't gonna let us scroll. That's why all oh, those bound boxes kill me. It was the bearing, uh, bearing cover B that was bad. Glad we take a look. Take took a look at that. That's not what we need anymore. Will we? Bearing cover B is what we need. We're going to expend. Uh, I'll just start your war. Ah, damn it! I hit the wrong one. God Almighty! Damn it! I'm sitting here fighting a damn headphone cord and I can't keep my mind on what I'm doing. Bearing cover B, let's try this again. Time of day, guys.
Okay, guys, that's number two we've got done. Uh oh, what happened? All we had to do was replace that bearing. Why is it not working? Wow. Seemed like I had the same problem with this one the last time. I have to do it twice. It's already configured. Is there another one that's bad? Really? Oh, good god I just I don't know what the fuck is going on with the thing, man. It ain't doing nothing. Yeah, it ain't letting me do a fucking thing. Wouldn't hurt if they'd make this game move a little faster too.
Here we go again. Damani. Really? Well, damn, it's fine, though, guys. That's good. How the hell is that? This is 
part of the game they're going to have to change. Just sitting here making every part like this and having to wait up to two or three minutes is just ridiculous. And the concept is great, man, but come on, let's speed this along a little bit. Come on. Shit like this, it just it will, I, will make me leave a game so fast. There's that one. But now it's time for our bigger toy. As you've already got uh, to know the Rocker Boogie mobility system, you should be the right person to tackle this problem. This time, you're, this time we're giving you Spirit, which is a more complex rover than Sojourn. However, the suspension is the same by and large, so you shouldn't find it difficult. The rover was priorly examined and it looks to be the rear engine in a wheel articulator needs to be fixed, although I can't remember which one it was. the crusher.
Don't quite remember which one it was on this one, guys. Sorry. Almost have to be this around here, right? Let's see. Not this one. It's not that one. There it is. There she is. All right. So the part you uh, the part you just removed is very complex. Printing it is not a good idea as it costs a lot and takes a lot of time. This type of rover part is called sets. You can use the workbench uh, to take it apart entirely. Thanks. Uh, thanks. To this, you can check what needs to be replaced without actually printing the whole instrument. One more thing: remember that you are that you cannot attach un incompleted sets to rovers. Good enough. Alrighty, we'll take it over and we will see what part we need to replace. 
Y'all read that on your own, guys. I'm gonna try to save you some time. That one's good. All right, we'll go over here. We'll go to our tablet. Go to our warehouse. See what parts it is we need. We need a. We need a. Where's my tablet at? I'll write these down. Well, guys, if you ever get a chance, if you ever have to buy a set of headphones, see if you can buy cordless ones. <laughs> Engine RE25 brush. R E twenty five brush. Need two of those. And I'm not sure about this mount. I guess we need one mount, right? And we need a engine R E twenty five mount. Engine R E twenty five mount. We just need one of those. Cover's good. You know the cover's good. All right. So let's get busy. One mount. Boy, we're gonna. But they, they really need to do something. I'm sitting here waiting like this. precious wow just crazy it's gonna take a total three minutes out of my life and I never get back Remember, we got to come back and do it again. I don't know if you can make two things. I don't. You know, you might be able to make two things at one time. Now that I think of it. it says left space seven. So I guess you can.
try that. All right, that's the three parts we need. See it. I'll take that back and we'll put that back on that bad boy. And as they say is that. And on the other end. Yes it is. <laughs> hmm. Go back to our trusty, handy, trusty, dusty computer. There we go. We just got it ranked up, guys. Congratulations. You are experienced enough to be promoted. Each time you are promoted, you gain skill points. You gain skill points. You can now, uh, see, you can spent, you can spent, you can spend guys that's with a D you know guys I gotta tell you I know you guys that have developed these games are brilliant but your your language sucks it's S P E N D guys not T you can't spend something but you can spend something your skill points and upgrade tabs wonderful let's go to upgrade tabs what how can we all right here you can improve your mechanic skills. We prepared three paths for you. If you like DIY, and the most important thing for you is to remove rover parts as fast as it's possible, you should focus on the technical trick. If you don't like getting your hands dirty, but you are quite good at counting money, maybe you maybe the economy the economist the econo M Y S T. Wow, tree is for you and the last tree analyst this tree is for people who like to finish their work quickly with these skills you can find uh, damaged parts faster 
just hover your mouse over the buttons and you'll get more information about the skill from the pop-ups. Each talent costs one skill point. Uh, one skill point. Which is, this is so reminiscent of, uh, of Car Mechanic Simulator, it's not even funny, but uh, each talent costs one skill point. To get them, uh, you must do one thing, play. Every time you uh, archive, uh, I'm sorry, every time you achieve next rank, you will get one skill point. Some skills have more than one level. To get the best skills, you should focus on the tree and try to max it out. You can, of course, mix skills from all three trees. The decision is yours. If you want to buy a skill, you have to hold the left mouse button on it. If you want to reset your skill points, hold the left mouse button on the fingerprint at the bottom right corner. But remember that cost. Uh, remember, but remember that cost of the. But remember that cost of the resetting is not consistent. So remember that I'm sorry, it grows each time you your res each time you reset your talents. Cool. Technician, economist, analyst. Uh, it, this is, it is just like uh, Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, okay. Go right down the line, guys. Alrighty. Let's get one more in and uh, we'll have these videos up. Okay, recently we've been receiving distorted images from the Opportunity Rover. We're afraid there we are afraid there are some problems with the masked pan camps. Masked pan cams. Well, we are just the ones for the job. So that means we're going to have to take the mast off.
I just should see me the first time I played this game. I had that thing halfway apart before I realized it. Yeah, something might be wrong here. All right. What do we have? Oh, those came off. Didn't. Okay, good deal. All right. These are the mass pan cams. So we're going to start right here. Good. 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 Those, I know we don't need to worry about those right now. All right, so let's get these lens covers off. Filter's good. Pan cam is good. Ah, there she is. There she is. All right, let's see. I don't think she's going to work as a set. No, she's not going to work as a set. So we're going to have to have her rebuild. Ah, uh, let's see here. So what are we calling her? Warehouse. Ooh, I gotta get rid of some parts. Pan cam. Mm. Well, it's gotta be electrical. Pan cam. So we need right there. Like somebody recorded their dryer. It's not like somebody recorded their dryer and integrated with this sound. Because <laughs> I hear something turning like a pair of shoes in a dryer in there. Alrighty. Guys, it to me, this is a lot of fun, guys, just putting this stuff together. Alrighty, let's put her together. Good old pan cow. She's together. Think we got anything left, do we? Nope. Alrighty, she's together. Let's put her together. Put her back home.
right, guys. Get her back configured and get her back uh, whatever planet they got her on. Okay, guys, we're going to cut it right there. I'm just going to call this part one. We'll come back and make another one, call it part two. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs>